October 14, 1947. At 12,000 feet, Jaeger descends into the B-29's belly for his ninth powered flight in the X-1. Unbeknown to the ground crew, Jaeger has three broken ribs, an injury he obtained while horseback riding the night before. Jaeger had been thrown from the horse and broken three ribs. He had the ribs patched up, but he was concerned that he could not get in the airplane and close the hatch because it was just too painful. But Jaeger wanted this so much. He's not going to let three broken ribs stop him from climbing down into the X-1 cockpit. With his ribs taped under his flight jacket, Jaeger crawls into the cockpit and uses a broom handle to latch the cockpit door. Jaeger locks the canopy. He's ready to begin the flight. But little does he know, this flight will change his life forever. In a flash, Jaeger is off rapidly accelerating towards 0.9 Mach and the dreaded shockwaves he expects to encounter. He feels the loss of flight controls as he accelerates through 0.94. He engages the horizontal stabilizer, and it works. Jaeger's still in one piece. The horizontal stabilizer is still in one piece. And now Jaeger has every chance of making an assault on that sound barrier. Jaeger levels out and continues his pursuit, inching further into the unknown. Jaeger is using the X-1 to probe closer and closer on his Mach meter. He's hunting it. He's hunting the Mach zone. Suddenly, Jaeger's Mach meter goes haywire. It went up to 0.965 Mach and then tipped right off the scales. I I thought I was seeing things. The airspeed indicator looks to him like it's broken, like it's pegged, and it won't come off of its maximum reading. He knows that something has occurred, but he's not really sure exactly what. The hunt for Mach 1 has never been closer, and it's unclear what lies ahead. Two sharp blasts roll across the desert. People didn't know exactly what they just heard, but it didn't take them long to figure it out. It's the X-1 and the sonic boom. As the X-1 passes Mach 1, it overtakes the sound waves in front of the plane while continuously generating new ones as it flies forward. These sound waves are then forced together, forming a trailing shock wave and producing a thunderous noise known as a sonic boom. It's the first sonic boom ever made by a pilot. And it can only mean one thing. Jaeger has broken the sound barrier. I was thunderstruck. After all the anxiety, breaking the sound barrier turned out to be a perfectly paved speedway. For Jaeger, after all the worry about controlling the X-1, getting through the buffeting in the barrier, it's perfectly smooth. And he realizes there wasn't a physical barrier. It was a barrier in our understanding of how the shock waves affected an aircraft. They've solved those problems, and the mysterious barrier has vanished. 